Welcome to Community First Pain Clinic. My name is Dr. Joel Kalia. I practice pain management here in Nelson, BC. Community First Pain Clinic is a multidisciplinary pain management center featuring medical treatments, exercise therapy, yoga therapy, and cognitive behavioral therapy for chronic pain conditions. I am a family physician with extra training in pain management. I do many interventional pain procedures using an office ultrasound machine. This video series will introduce the basics of office ultrasound procedures for chronic pain conditions. These videos are intended for the use of Canadian medical residents and are for educational purposes only. Ultrasound guided procedures have advantages over x-ray and CT guided ones including easier accessibility, lower cost, no radiation exposure, and possibly improved safety due to better visualization of neurovascular structures. Based on the available evidence, lumbar facet medial branch blocks using local anesthetic with or without steroid significantly improves pain and disability in the short and long term. In a recent systematic review of the literature, no major side effects or complications were found with lumbar medial branch blocks or caudal epidural injections. However, theoretical serious complications include dural puncture, spinal cord injury, subdural injection, neural trauma, or hematoma formation. Potential infectious complications include epidural abscess, and bacterial meningitis. Finally, side effects related to the local anesthetic or other drugs injected are possible. Caudal epidural injection is also done in a prone position. Patients place comfortably on their front with a bolster underneath the hips. The area is draped and lateral sacral margins can be marked in the approximate location of the sacral carnu. Uh, equipment needed for this injection include cleaning solution, sterile gel, needle and syringe for anesthesia, needle and syringe for the epidural, and gauze for after. First the area is cleansed several times. Ultrasound gel is then placed in the region. And then we can either use the small probe or in larger patients the abdominal probe. The probe started transversely to find the sacral cornu and then turned longitudinally. Once that's found, the patient is warned, the freezing is then put in. Once the freezing has taken effect, then the epidural is done. Once that's done, the cause is put down, and the procedure is finished.